Hello guys, Clark here, back at again with another review, but before we get started, if you'd be so kindly, please like and subscribe, and also share the video if you want. Also, again, I want to thank you for all the people who've been watching and giving my videos a chance. You've been really, really great to, uh, these uh, past couple of weeks that I've been trying to put out content, so thank you a lot once again. Um, so, today I have a review for you. For Snake Eyes, a new G.I. Joe movie starring Henry Golding, uh, Andrew Koji, and directed by Robert Schneck, I think? Schneck? The guy, I heard he did R.I.P.D. But, um, basically this movie is a whole entire origin of, uh, about, you know, Snake Eyes. One of the most popular characters in G.I. Joe, uh, in the G.I. Joe world. And, um honestly one of my favorite characters and so this movie is basically going over how he became snake eyes um to give a basic gist of what i liked about the movie i think the movie was a pretty good retelling of his origin a very good modern take of the character you know i understand they had to change a lot of things up and to be honest with you, I like the changes that they did. I thought it was pretty interesting that he he came from like you know he kind of became like a almost like a Ronin type character and he just went traveling from one place to another and then he became you know he became with the Kimi Yakuza member and then he traveled rolled with them for a minute and I like the fact that you know it was a different take on the, a story that we of a character. And it wasn't like the same thing that we've seen before. I get it. A lot of people are mad that it, it wasn't true to what they wanted. But I think for what they did and for what they were trying to tell, they did a really good job. And I think, to be honest with you, I kind of like his or I kind of like this origin. I kind of like how it's a different take. It's a different interpretation. I think we need more different. I think. In a lot of ways, we need a different interpretation when it comes to certain characters. If the character requires a different interpretation or a modernization of it, where the audience can be like, oh, okay, I, I can see, I can relate to your struggle and all that and why you did these things, then I, I you know, I think if there's room for that, then go ahead and take it. I see the one of the things um, that I also liked is a lot of the writing, I think the acting was, a lot of the writing was good. Um, Especially in, in, especially when it came to the whole entire um, relationship between Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. I think that was written very well. And I like the fact how he kind of got into the Rashikagi through Storm Shadow. I like that. I like how they went and did that. And that it, that really sets up, you know, the really the true betrayal. And why, he, why Storm Shadow feels so betrayed by Snake Eyes. I think I really like that. Um, one thing... I uh, also say is the acting it was really good. I think Henry Golding was really, uh, did a good job as in Snake Eyes. I think, but I think the one who stole the show really was Andrew Koji. I think Andrew Koji really was the one who truly stole the show for me in this movie. He was really good at Snake Eyes, and he really he really channeled that anger and that and that and through his acting and that rage when he was in fight mode and all that he really really channeled it i really liked that and he was just a fierce he was a fierce individual in this movie and he showed it and why he showed that storm shadow is not to be messed with um i will say this though one of the cons of this movie is that the action Though it's entertaining, it is filmed not as great. Um, I think, I don't know why, I feel like they were trying to go for more of a uh, handheld type, excuse me, handheld type fashion with the action. I think they were trying to do that, but the way it was filmed, it was so shaky and was hard to follow. At sometimes and then other action scenes you can follow what's going on it was weird to me because when you watch the trailer the trailer the action trailer you can kind of see a lot of the hits you can see what's going on and it kind of like when you look in the movie there's moments where you can see that you can follow for a bit but then it goes back into a mode where you can't follow it so i don't know what 
they were doing and why they decided to shake it up so much. But I think that was probably not a good thing to do <laughs> because I think a lot of people were probably going like uh, probably having some motion blur sickness or probably having the eyes hurt due to the fact that it was just like moving around so much. Um, you know, and I also say one the, another con is that I feel like they should have left some of the other G.I. Joe stuff out. Right, the Cobra stuff, the J.I. Joe stuff, and really just kept it on Snake Eyes and kept it on Rashi Kagi and all that. Because for some reason, when they do go into trying to bring in G.I. Joe stuff, right, like Scarlet and also the Cobra stuff with Baroness, it feels like it's kind of hamfisted in there. Like, it's kind of, oh, yeah, we also need to remind you that this is in G.I. Joe's world. This is, you know, this is the G.I. Joe world. This is the universe and all this. Oh, and it's like, I mean, I can tell it's G.I. Joe. I mean, it's Snake Eyes, so I know it's G.I. Joe. So, I mean, you didn't need to add those elements. I understand why they added those elements. And I think due to the fact that they're trying to set up where, you know, Scarlet is kind of like the one who recruits, kind of like the OG team with, like, Duke and um, Heavy Duty or Roblox. Depending on what your OG team is, I think, you know, I think they're trying to, they, they're going to lose her as, like, the one who recruits everyone. And so, if that's the case, then, okay, I, I get why they did that, but it's kind of still, I feel like they didn't necessarily need that in the movie. They need, well, not need that aspect, but needed the G.I. Joe in it, right? Like, I, maybe I'm not making this, how can I rephrase this? I like the fact they had the recruiting process, I like, but the G.I. Joe aspect kind of felt like second, second hand the thing they need to put in. It didn't feel like they need to put it in there. You could have had Scarlet in there, come in, maybe mention Joe towards the end, and that's it. They could go have her call up, like they did in the movie, call her up, she comes in, says, hey, Helps out a bit, and then she's like, oh, I want to recruit you for this. Kind of like a Nick Fury. They could just did that, or like kind of like that thing. I don't need to see Baroness. I didn't need to see Cobra or any G.I. Joe. I just want to keep it mainly on Rosikagi and Snake Eyes. That's why I think we need to keep it on. But uh, with that being said, you know, I can't wait for a you know, Snake Eyes 2. I hope they make a Snake Eyes 2. I feel like they are. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with other characters. I'm hoping that they make a Duke movie and they get Scott Eastwood to play the character and not only that, but get Sam Hargrave who made Extraction, which is one of Netflix's best action movies to direct that film. Um, and also for any other character. I hope they do this for the characters and then kind of they all come together like Avengers type deal. Um, but again, with all that being said, um, the rating for that I'm going to give this movie is a B. That's right, I'm giving it a B because I really did find it entertaining. I really did like it. And with all the flaws in it, I still thought this was a pretty good movie. And to be honest with you, it's the best G.I. Joe movie to come out in a long minute. Especially um, after the horrible or <laughs> movie that was uh, uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation. That movie was horrible. Terrible. What a that movie was not good. So um that's the review. Again, I want to thank you all for uh watching and and, and and giving my videos a chance. I also want, I want to say again if you like, please like and subscribe and share this video if you want. Um this has been Clark with Clark Reviews, and I'll see you later. Bye.